Hello everyone, welcome to the second part of our rhinestone series. So for today I'm going to be showing you how to use a rhinestone board together with our previous DIY rhinestone picker. So for this tutorial you will need your rhinestone board. This is my rhinestone board. You will need rhinestone transfer paper. This is it. You need your rhinestone transfer paper. So it comes with, there's a sticky side. This is how it looks. This is the shiny part. This is the back area. When you open it, this shiny part is the sticky part. This area, this is the sticky, this is the sticky part. And then this is the other part that will prevent it from opening. So you need your transfer paper. You will need your sponge. You also need, you also need your rhinestones this is our rhinestones so this is a previous one and this is a previous project as you can see i use this pattern to make this i use this pattern it's very fast very quick and very fast so to start up we are going to be using this okay for the purposes of this tutorial I think it would be better we use this. This is quicker. Okay, let's just use this. You can use any one. You can use any of the tutorial, any of the patterns. So for this tutorial, I'll use this. So to start up with, you pour. We we'll pour our stones, all our stones on it. Make sure. Also, I forgot to mention. Make sure you have like a wrapper or a cloth. That you put on top on top or you put under this rhinestone um transfer board so that when you're you will see when you're moving the stones at the point you push all of them out and then you start putting the play holes that are not iron filled so uh, this is our sponge this is a normal plate sponge so after pouring your rhinestone on top you just rub it gently round so that they will fall into these stones you just rub it, push it gently, push it gently around the stones. And uh, you're seeing, you're seeing that they're falling in, they're falling in place. So after a while, so like I said earlier, you just brush them out, brush them out, brush them out. So this is the importance of having the cloth on that. If not, your stones will just be falling everywhere. So now... This is the most juicy part now. So as we have done this, this is our rhinestone picker. So we are going to tap. Let's tap this one. Are you seeing how fast, quickly he picked it? We'll put it on the next place. Tap here. Put it here. Just tap. You can let's take from here. You can put some on top of the board so that it will be easier for you. Make sure they are right sides facing each other. Right side facing on top so we're tapping we're putting just tap are you seeing how quick how fast it's going when compared to tweezers so see this side is even one is here so quick 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 there's no time to waste quickly this is it this is it placing then there are some that will be facing up then you will now you would um, ensure that you change the color you correct it so we just tap tap please I hope I'm getting everything tap please tap tap please tap please tap this so this one you also use your hand you're using everywhere please so that's it under seconds you're done even when you're not using the rhinestone board when you're the when you're um stoning your ankara or your material directly you can just tap like tap please 
all the only thing that is needed is for it to be facing upwards that's all that's the only problem that's the only not i won't call it a problem so that's it guys we're done we're done okay that is so you cross check your work so that's it guys we're done so i'm going to show you now how to get this off the right so another thing is you check for stones that may be on top of each other so let's check this seems to be a different color of stone so i will replace it we'll just tap it out and place it back so we're done with this now can you see we're done so i'm going to show you now how to transfer this out of this board so i have cut out my rhinestone transfer that would cover here so like i said you peel out the sticky part that's the shiny the shiny part is the sticky part and as you're peeling it out you can maybe mark the back side because it can get confusing you can mark the back side here so that you know which side is the back but it's a little bit confusing. So, so be gentle, gentle as you're peeling it, and then you place it, place it on top, on top, the rhinestone like this. And then you press it press it so that you're sure that all the stones oh we have a problem here we didn't check this well before we place it this side is facing up these ones are facing up these stones are facing up can you see so that's the problem you have to be very careful i must have moved this i must have moved this as i was about to place this okay mm -hmm. so that's the issue so are you seeing how i'm correcting it you just lift it slightly and check the ones that are facing the wrong direction or you can leave it like that you can leave it like that so that it won't cause problems in other places too okay oh, let's just leave it like that next time you have to watch watch properly before you place your right your transfer paper so you lift it like this you see these places that remain back you push it back again and press press the paper so that it's pick it some stubborn ones will still not go up but most will comply yes so you raise it and it's not sticking press it press it gently yes and we're done so this is our so like remember what i said you mark the place that is the back so this side now that we marked is the back so we'll place it here how do we cut it so place it on this Place it on the paper till you are ready to transfer it to your main material. So, this is our rhinestone transfer. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like my videos, share my videos. And if there's anything you would like me to show you, if it is within my knowledge, I would show you. Thank you very much. Bye.